Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa. So, I think it's finally time to do an updated bookshelf tour. I finally got all my bookshelves to kind of where I want them and I got them moved into my office. So I think now would be a good time to kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour of my bookshelves. I am not going to uh, pull everything off the shelf and show you what's there. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview only because it takes too much time and I got a lot of stuff on my shelf. And honestly, I just don't feel like taking it all off. Um, so I'm just going to give you an overview, overview of each shelf. Um, that way you can kind of see what I have on my shelves and kind of like what I, how I decorate it and whatnot. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, bookshelf tour. I'm sorry it's not more into depth, but honestly, I don't really like those kinds of bookshelf tours. So I'm just going to kind of go with what I kind of like. So with all that being said, let's get into the tour. Okay, so let's start over here on the bookshelf that's usually behind me. So this is the first shelf. This is my Throne of Glass shelf. So these are all my Throne of Glass books. I also have a little Throne of Glass candle on here as well. I don't have too much on this. Um, the rest of the books are behind there. I got the fancy covers from the bookish box. So that's the first shelf. And then the shelf next to it this is my Akatar shelf so I got all the books back there as well as the special edition Akatar and Throne of Glass that they're behind uh, Court of Mist and Fury here but I have some candles that I just thought it'd be nice to display I got my Resand plushie here from Fate Crate the globe um, from Fate Crate as well on this shelf so yeah I just kind of display some of my favorite Akatar stuff on this shelf. So next is my Stock and Jack the Ripper shelf. Um, this is another favorite series of mine. So I got some of my favorite merch out. Obviously I have the um, book covers. I think these were from Bay Crate, I want to say. The exclusive dust jackets. Um, I got some of my favorite candles, uh, Spidey Sense candles, Fire Nation Creation, Flip the Wick, got my Thomas plushie there, some of my favorite Stop and Jack the Ripper merch, merch on this shelf. Okay, so moving on to the shelf next to it. This is my Kiss of Deception shelf or Mary E. Pearson. I just have a little mixture of stuff. I put this one here. Um, this is Molly Weasley candle, which I think I might move over to my Harry Potter shelf, come to think of it. Got this cute little llama at um, Hobby Lobby and some other little things up there. But this is another favorite. I try to make my background with all my like favorite books. So this is another favorite series of mine, which I highly recommend definitely go check it out so that's my kiss of deception shelf okay so then moving on to this shelf this is my illuminate shelf I have this little um, plaque thing I got from uh, dreamy and co from a dreamy and co box and I have this cute little flamingo sign I got from Hobby Lobby and then obviously I got my favorite illuminate series and then I got these Broken Stars because they are another favorite sci-fi series of mine. And then I got Aurora Ryzen back here, but I haven't actually read it. But I wanted to keep it with my um, Amy Kaufman and Jake herself books. So this is my Illuminate Files shelf. Okay, so this is the last shelf on the top in the corner. This is just kind of a random shelf of different uh, larger books. 
I got this cute little owl I got in Pennsylvania here and then my favorite sign always be a unicorn unless you or no always be yourself unless you can be a unicorn then then always be a unicorn and then this, this little teeny unicorn right here that says shine bright um, so yeah this is just a random shelf because it's kind of tucked in the corner so not too many people see that one okay guys so moving down from the top shelves this is just another random shelf i have this scotty dog that my grandfather gave me um a long time ago before he passed away but yeah that's just a random shelf sorry if the camera's a little shaky i my tripod doesn't go very low so so we have to make do with what i got i have some more books that are kind of my favorite like the scythe is down here and then i kept dry with it because it's neil shushman and then the Glass Bear, which I thoroughly enjoyed, Fury Born, and then just some little stuff that I had, uh, Dorian Grey Candle from uh, Enchanted Phantom, and just some little random things on that shelf. Moving on to the shelf next to that one. Um, this is my Daughter of the Pirate King shelf, one of my favorite series, and then I also got Warrior of the Wild back here, and then a couple other um, sea books seafire which I really enjoyed I haven't read to kill a kingdom yet um, and then some candles from spidey scents a llama that I got from Hobby Lobby and this cute little sign I forget where I got the sign but that's my a daughter of the pirate king shelf and then moving on to my Tahara Mafi shelf obviously I got the whole shatter me series here and I got this cute little butterfly some candles that just go with the series. I got a very large expanse of sea and then back here I will show you guys. I have Restore Me but I also have the first edition of Shatter Me that I found at uh, Books A Million for a steal. So I have that one back there as well. So this is my Shatter Me shelf. So moving on to the shelf, this has my Lunar Chronicles, which I see my Lunar Chronicles books are backwards. I got them wrong somehow. Okay, that's better. So this is my Lunar Chronicle, well, another favorite shelf. Love the Lunar Chronicles series. Those were my special dust jackets from the Bookish Box. And then I have Carnival back there. This is another special edition book or dust jackets from uh, the Bookish or the Beacon Book Box. Gosh, I can't even talk. Then I just have a little Valentine's Day sign and a little photo candle holder on that shelf. Then moving over to one of my last favorite shelves. This is obviously the Cruel Print shelf. I got Cardin and Jude. The crown from one, I think it was from Wick and Fable from a Cruel Prince box that they did. Candle back here, Court of Candles, King of Elfheim. And then I got Spidey Scents. And then this one is, is this Spidey Scents too? I can't remember. I want to say it is, but I can't remember. But yep, yeah, that's my Cruel Prince shelf. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Okay, now it's gonna get really hard because now we're down at the bottom. So this is just my Marie Lou shelf. I have all my Marie Lou books here. Some candles, this one's for War Cross and that one's for the Legend series, which I haven't actually read yet. And then this cute little bird. Then moving over, this is just, well, my Lainey Taylor, book, uh, Lainey Taylor books. And then I have the uh, DC Icon series. I only have the three that I'm actually interested. I'm not interested in the last one. So I have those here as well. And then this shelf is just kind of a mixture of different books. Usually towards the bottom I just put filler books in here. Then this shelf I have my modern fairy tales. I wanted to put it on the curl print shelf but I didn't have room. So I put it down here and I just got some other mixture books. Um, that's just a little owl figure that because I love owls. So that's just kind of this shelf. And over here, 
I have another mixture shelf, but I have my, I have this Yankee candle my grandmother, or my mother-in-law gave me, and it's coffee scented, and I just love it, so it always just lives on my shelf. Then I have a Nikolai candle, a King Scars, and then the Grishaverse Globe. So that's all here on this shelf, and then just some random books in the back. You can see. There's the shelf. Sorry, I'm moving the camera. I just. So that's that shelf. And the last shelf over here is going to be kind of tricky to get to. I have my Grishaverse books down here because I couldn't actually find a place for them. Um, so, and I also have the Storm Crow. But behind this, I have some other books. Let me see if I can. So, behind that, there's all the other books on this shelf. Like I said, it's just another random shelf of different kinds of books. But I just have my Grisha series sitting in front of it. So, there's that shelf. Okay, guys, so before I move on to the next bookshelf, this is the top of my bookshelf. Uh, the one that's always in my backdrop. So these are just some romance books that I had recently got, so I just kind of put them up there. Um, there's a picture of my hubby. And then I have all these little tins here from different books. I have the whole collection so far. Um, so I have those kind of right there. That's going to a friend. And then I also have then over here, I have my Starfall candle. I forget what box that came in. I have this little tray that I got. It was a broken one, so I just paid shipping for it and I fixed it. So I just kind of set it up there for a little. Okay, so these are my Novelty Yours candles. Um, they are like their layered candle of the month ones. And I only have four. I only got the four that I really wanted. Um... So this one is obviously Stock and Jack the Ripper. Love it. There's a color for each of the books. And then this one's Frost and Starlight, which is for the final book, or well, novella book in the Akatar series. And there's a color for each of the, of the books. Then this one is Hunger Games. And again, there's different colors. There's one for Katniss, Peeta, Hamage, Cinna and Effie, which I just think is awesome. They did the characters. Um, and then I have the Illuminate Files one, Error, which is different colors for each of the books. And all of them have like a quote on the back too from the books, which is nice. So that's my Novel Yours collection. So moving over, I have this owl that has always has like my bookmarks in it got this cute little hocus pocus bookmark i don't hardly ever use these ones but i liked it so i hung it off my bookmark holder and then i have this strange the dreamer snow globe from fake crate i just keep it on the shelf um and then i have another little this is a tin mug that is uh from fire nation creations and it has um how to train your dragons this is toothless so I have that, and it has like a little quote on the back too. These are all my wooden bookmarks. So they're, and then of course I have a little fleet foot thing. So they're in their own little container. I have, um, this is a coaster that got a little chip. So I put it in here and it's just, this one was from Beacon Book Box for the Hunger Games. And then Okay, so then moving on to the corner, of course I have my dystopian books up here, The Hunger Games, The Selection, Divergent, and then The Match Trilogy. These are books that I've read but love. So they're up here. Um, I got Chip, he's just kinda got some like miscellaneous stuff in his, his little, he's like a little container. I don't actually use him for anything. I got this from Gillywick's Goods. It's a cute little crown. It just kind of sits up there. I have a Not Today Muggle Candle. And then I have this really pretty paper rose that I had made. Um, I was testing out paper flowers for my mom for her birthday. And so I just kind of put that up there. 
and I really like it. So, so that's the top of that shelf. So now we're gonna move on to my Harry Potter shelf. Okay guys, so now we're on to my Harry Potter shelf. This is the top. This is kind of like just a little miscellaneous stuff that I have that I don't have a home for yet. Hermione's uh, bag that, I forget what they, what she put on. Some kind of charm to make it like bottomless pit. Ron's wand. So I have that. Just a little candle, this little uh, corner pixie jar that I actually made. And you just put a little tea light in there. It's really cute. And then I got a little niffler up there. Okay, so moving down, this is just a Funko Pop shelf. Obviously, I have my massive head wig back there and then my little mini version of them. I have the, um, these are like the Books of Million exclusive uh, Funkos, I believe. I got Hermione back there, a candle, not today, Muggle candle from Jant Phantom. Hogsmeade Weekend from uh, Wiccan Fable. So that's just kind of like a miscellaneous Harry Potter shelf. And then moving over from that one, this is my potion shelf. So these are some potions that I actually made up myself. Oh, excuse me. I have, I just put my little chocolate frog there. I have Hermione Bruin the Poly Juice Potion and then Hermione as the cat. Um, I got a candle back here too um, and then a book and it's just a pop-up curiosity, curi a gallery of curiosities and then this one's probably my favorite potion. Ooh. It's Felix Felicious. I really like how this one turned out. So this one turned out super pretty. It's one of my favorites. I also have a Not Today Muggle candle back there. Kind of filling in some of the gaps. Squiddyk. This is another potion that I made. So these ones were kind of fun to make. So, yep, that's my potion shelf. Okay, so moving down from the potion shelf, this is kind of my uh, Fantastic Beast shelf. I have, of course, my baby Nifflers. I have Picket. I have a Fantastic Beast candle from Little Mouse Bookshelf. I have a Newt Scamander candle from Spidey Sense. And obviously, Newt Scamander's there. I have a Niffler bank and then my Harry Potter uh, Hufflepuff collector's editions on the shelf. Then moving over from that shelf I have my illustrated editions of Harry Potter. I have this little uh, Horcrux candle um, from Flick the Wick and little Ron at Dobby. I just I got to the part in Deathly Hollows and I'm just sad about Dobby. I have this candle back there from Gillywick's Goods and this cute little Niffler as well. So that is that shelf. Okay, so moving down from that shelf, this is another, this has my Harry Potter box set, which is missing two books because I took them out of there because I was looking at them. And then I have some other Harry Potter editions. This one I got from Jenna, from Jenna Reed. She got me this one. And then this one I actually found at a thrift store for like 50 cents. So I was like, get that. And then I have some other Harry Potter books back there. Uh, Beetle the Bard, Fantastic Beast. I have this um, little notebook. I just thought it was cute. I just kept it on here because I just didn't want to write in it. Have some candles, Mischief Manage. Not Today Muggle, which is my favorite candle from Enchanted Phantom. This one's Happy Christmas, Harry. And then I got Hagrid as well on that shelf. And then I have a couple other books kind of over here because they don't fit on these shelves. So my pop-up Christmas book, Fantastic Beast, and then this pop-up book as well. And then the last shelf on the bottom is my hardcover um, editions of Harry Potter 
Then I got the Honeydukes Scratch and Sniff book over there as well. I got this little um, container, well, like little tin. It came with socks, which I already I have the socks in my sock drawer, but it's super cute, like Nargles and the Mistletoe. And um, I just like the tin, so I kept it and just put it right there. And then I got a little Hermione. I got these little tins. These are the Great Hauls at Halloween and Christmas. These are from Illuminos Labradas, I want to say. So I put those down there as well. So that is the final shelf, or my final Harry Potter shelf. Okay guys, so now we're over in the corner by the window. This is my last bookshelf in my office. Um, this has some miscellaneous stuff. At the top I have this light box that has Hagrid and Buckbeak. I got that in a Gillywex goods box. I absolutely love it. It's right there because that's the only place I have a plug. So, And then I have this old alarm clock from Aladdin. I got it at a thrift store and I just love it and so it's kind of like a collector item so I just leave it there. Coaster and a speaker on top. So let's get into these shelves. Okay so this shelf over here is kind of like a miscellaneous. I have some, uh, um, goodness gracious I can't even talk. Um, middle grade books right here. I got the Giver series. Behind that, I have some other books. So those are some other books that I have behind it. Like I said, this is just kind of miscellaneous. I try to um, just use it next to it. Oh, I got my camera here. That's just kind of like where I set it. I also have these like little books. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. They're just kind of sitting here. But those are just the books that are on this shelf another just miscellaneous bookshelf and the last one which you can see me in there is just a picture of my, me and my kid and then other miscellaneous books I got my uh, Stranger Things books in the corner so that's that shelf and then down here I have some middle grade books in here um, I got a mishmash of kind of all of them. I just kind of put them in here because I didn't have a place for them. So that's where those are. And then this just has some miscellaneous bookish items. Um, bookmark keeper with bookmarks in it. Some notebooks. My Some of my tin cups down here that I don't have a place for. Um, or don't have a display for yet. This is full of like chapstick, that book is chapstick because I have an addiction. And then just some other little stuff in there. And then same as this one as well. This one kind of has some bookmark keepers. This one's another tin mug. My Cruel Prince teacup from Bake Rate. Um, some more bookmarks. A couple boxes are down there too. But yeah, that's just kind of miscellaneous bookish stuff. So that is what's all on that shelf. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. This is my shelf in the corner. This is my contemporary shelf. I have my M up there and then obviously some contemporaries. This little uh, lantern thing I got from Enchanted Phantom. A little home sweet home sign. Sorry if you can't hear the TV, my kids are watching TV. But here's another contemporary shelf. Got this little duck, a picture of me and my hubby, this little cute little owl, and then just some more contemporaries. Okay, so this is the next shelf down. I just got a little uh, picture from our trip to Moab. And this is, like I said, more contemporaries. This cute little elephant little owl snow globe and then more contemporaries okay so this is the next shelf down um this has some of my adult contemporaries on it uh jar of sand and shells from north carolina when we visited last um i also have this cute little owl i have my christmas books over from here on over um and then these are all adult contemporaries 
right, this is the last shelf at the bottom. I'm sorry if I'm shaking, I'm holding it. I have some books I gotta put away. These are some books that came off my coffee table because my kids. I have my classics on here, my Anna Green Gables. Um, I have like my Beauty and the Beast ones, Little Mermaid, Pride and Prejudice. They're all on the shelf. And I got some candles up here. This little Anne figure I got at a thrift store. This candle. Hey. Then I also have some of these books. These came off my bookshelf. So I just put them here. And some more Christmas books I gotta put away. So that is the last shelf. Okay, this is my tall bookshelf. This used to be my Harry Potter bookshelf, but now it's just miscellaneous books. So this is the first shelf. I don't really have any decorations on this shelf since I took all the Harry Potter stuff off. So this is a very plain bookshelf. But this one is in my living room. If you can't tell, the kids are watching TV. <laughs> so this is the top shelf. This is the next shelf down. These ones have some bigger hardback books on here. And my book of the month ones. And then down from there, these are my Disney books that I have that I've been collecting. The Twisted Tale ones. And then a couple other ones as well and then down from there these are all more disney books and then a couple other books on the end <coughs> sorry about my kid coughing he's at the bottom these are all again miscellaneous books i kind of have these ones double stacked so there's all the books that are behind it Then next to this big white bookshelf, I have my graphic novels. Um, I have some Stranger Things books here. And then these ones are all pretty much graphic novels. And then down here is my Doctor Who shelf with all of my Doctor Who stuff. My graphic novels, my cookbook, different Doctor Who books that I have, some um, other Doctor Who books, a Doctor Who candle. This box here is... Um, Doctor Who, like fairy tale books, I that's the only way I could put it on here. And then I also have some of these cute little books. So, so that is my Doctor Who shelf. And then the last bookshelf I'm going to show you is the bookshelf that's actually in my bedroom. So these have mostly paperback books on them. Um, so yeah, let's, let's show you a more detailed look. Okay. So this is a picture of my husband when he was a kid. So these are some paperback books that I have. Ones that I really want to get to and that I haven't read yet. But these are all the UK editions of them. As well as these ones, the Raven Cycle, are all the UK edition of those. And then I also have these two, which I have read this series and love this series. It's super good. You should read it. Up next to it, these are just, like I said, miscellaneous paperback books. Um, I got this cute little... I got this a long time ago when I was a kid because I loved horses. And I don't know if you can see that. But there are two horses in there. It's really dusty. But there's like two horses in there. So, so yeah, that's that. So that is another miscellaneous bookshelf. Sorry, it's not the greatest light. And then moving over again another miscellaneous paperback bookshelf and then moving down this is of course double stacked but these are more books miscellaneous books There is the last of them. 
So that is my bookshelf in the bedroom. Hi everyone, Editor Melissa here. I apologize for the voice and had ahead of time struggling with uh, my voice today. But I realized that I had never actually did a uh, closing clip or whatever they call it for this bookshelf tour. <clears throat> so I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of like the layout of my bookshelves. Um, if you want to see anything else in detail or, or closer up, just let me know. I'd be glad to show you <coughs> closer up. Um, pictures and whatnot. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, um, especially if you're new and like to see more from me. I'm sorry about this outro clip, intro, outro clip, whatever it is. I am a big old struggle bus right now. <clears throat> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my bookshelves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I don't sound like a toad. Bye guys.